Defense and Space News TV report. Hello Defense lovers, today we are going to discuss about Fed Air Defense System vs S-400 Air Defense System. The US is applying efforts to block India's S-400 agreement with Russia. It offers to sell its terminal high-altitude area defense system, THAAD, instead. New Delhi is in talks with Russia on purchasing S-400 Triumph air defense systems in a $6 billion deal. The issue was included into the agenda of the 2 plus 2 format talks. Indian foreign and defense ministers were to meet their American counterparts in Washington on July 6 but all of a sudden the US postponed the meeting amid the reports that the relations have taken a tumble. The two countries don't see eye to eye on a number of issues, including the tariff wars, the Iran deal etc. The news came a day after Washington announced that all other countries, including India, must cut oil imports from Iran to zero by November 4 or face sanctions. It made clear there would be no waivers to anyone. This is for the second time that America postponed the 2 plus 2 dialogue which was initially slated for March. The US position looks very much like blackmail because if India refuses to dump the Russian system, it will come under sanctions according to the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act CATSA, unless the administration is able to convince the Congress that this country deserves a waiver in case it reduces its defense cooperation with Russia. This is another example of America's arms-twisting diplomacy. Is it worth to reject the pressure and stand tall? If America offered a good deal, why not meet it halfway? But will India get what it seeks as a result? It calls for a look at the capabilities of the two systems. The S-400 multi-layered general purpose air defense system covers the entire spectrum of possible air-to-space targets, including small and intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The FAD is a single-layer defense destined to counter only against intermediate range and intercontinental ballistic missile systems at either before or during the early phase of their re-entry with the speed of up to 3,000 meters per second outside of atmosphere. A missile's velocity is 2,880 meters per second allowing to launch another interceptor at the upcoming target in case the first one missed. If there is no kill, the Patriot air defense system will have to step in. The Triumph can engage targets with higher speed up to 4,800 meters per second. It can effectively target incoming aircraft and other targets while transmitting target information to other air defense systems. The FAD relies entirely on friendly units for protection against enemy aircraft the Russian system is effective against. The FAD's kinetic energy hit minimizes the risk of exploding ballistic missiles warheads upon impact, but the Russian system's fragmentary warhead increases kill probability. The S-400 provides five missile types and several different radars for providing intercept from short-range, low-altitude targets to long-range, high-altitude targets. The FAD has only one. The FEDS has an estimated range of 150 to 200 km in comparison to Triumph's 400 km. This is a very important advantage of the Russian weapon. The American system has a greater altitude, 150 km versus S-400's 30 km. It also boasts a greater detection range, 100 km versus S-400's 600 km. The FAD is good against high-altitude missiles. But theater defense requires the capability to take down targets at low altitude, not in space. The S-400's missiles are fitted with homing devices. Unlike American systems, the Triumph does not need to track the target. The Triumph routinely scans the airspace in a 360-degree sweep. The THAAD horizontal sweep is 90 degrees, a vertical sweep, 60 degrees. There is a great difference in prices. One THAAD battery consists of six launchers, eight interceptors per each of them, and costs about $2, 3 billion plus $574 modernized and slash TPY2 radar. A battery of S-400, including eight launchers with four interceptors each costs about $500 million or six times less. 
the Fed's identification friend or foe system will not allow India to take down US made and NATO member states, produced aircraft or missiles a potential enemy may have in the inventory. The Russian S-400 will allow countering weapons produced in Western countries. As one can see, the S-400 has many advantages over the third, including a broad greater range, a lower price, and a wider range of targets to knock down, but it's not about comparing specifications or costs. Saudi Arabia wants to have both systems in the inventory, India could do it too. What really matters is that Russia attaches no strings to the deal. Unlike the US, it exerts no pressure and makes no threats. It treats India with respect and does not hurt its national pride by trying to impose its weapon systems instead of winning in a fair contest. Moscow does not threaten New Delhi with sanctions and other things if it buys the American that. That's the main difference between the two deals India has to consider. China is already operating S-400S, Turkey has concluded a deal. Saudi Arabia and Qatar are engaged in negotiations over the purchase while many more nations are considering such a possibility. India will not make a mistake if it buys the Russian system. With the deal going through, it'll get a bigger bang for its buck and protect its sovereignty demonstrating the determination to resist pressure. Great nations cannot be dictated the terms of decisions they are going to make. The Indian government knows better what weapon its military needs to defend the country. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay with us.